Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Channel 19 Sports High School Group 2 Playoff Basketball between number two Sterling and number three Collingswood. Welcome, everyone. I'm Brett Hagen, along with Julian Unger and Chris Bender. We're courtside tonight for this high octane matchup. Now, Julian, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you think about Sterling's chances for tonight? Well, I think tonight they're going to look towards their, their seniors, their big guys, and R. Ellis. First time these two, these two uh, teams met, he had more than half their points both times. So I'm going to look towards their, their old guys and their seniors and maybe some of, maybe a good game out of their young ones. All right. All right. Now, uh, Chris, why don't you tell us about Collingswood? Well, Brett, Collingswood, uh, you know, the interesting story. They recently had a uh, transfer named Jason Brogsdale join their team. He's only played in one game. Tonight will be his second. And uh, he had, in their first game, he had seven. He was seven from uh, of 11 from uh, – from uh, on the court. <laughs> I've made 7 of 11 shots. Uh, they have a sophomore named Darnell uh, McCargo who uh, averages 19 points a game and uh, they're led by uh, John John Dempsey who uh, he's a big guy. He, uh, he's their leader and uh, that's who they look to when they need big plays and uh, it should be an interesting game and uh, we'll have to see what happens. Alright, thanks a lot. Well, that's all for our pregame show. We'll get back to you when the action starts. The Sterling gym where Sterling is set to take on Collingswood. Let's start. What do you think? What are you thinking, Brett? Some some close close matchups here. Um, I like uh, Dempsey tonight having a good game. Yeah. Uh, uh, I also like the Sterling Super fans having a good game tonight. Oh yeah, they're they're it's, pumped because you know what? They want to see Haddonfield. This is probably by far the biggest team that these two that oh, these guys is, played. This is the biggest game by far that anybody that these guys have played. Uh, you know, loser loser goes home. This is going to be the closest game Sterling's had in a and, while. I'm going to say that. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, and I'll and I'll tell you what else, Brett. The winner. Both of these teams want to play Haddonfield again, very bad. And, I'd like and to mention, though, the team that's thinking about Haddonfield too much is the one that's not going to get out of this game because neither of these teams can underestimate. That's each right, other. but I think that they can. I think that they're going to they're going to use that as fuel to get back at, at the great Haddonfield team. Yes, and uh, well, we're ready for a good one to tip off here. So both stay teams, with us. It's going to be a close with one. Identical records coming in 23 and four. As Jack wins the tip there. Uh, Sterling defeating Glassboro to uh, get to this point, and Collingswood defeated, I believe, it, it was uh, Burlington Town. Kevin Miller's bringing up the ball for Collingswood right now. That as ball is going to be out on Art Ellis, a nice play. As we mentioned in the pregame show, the three big players for Collingswood, well, at least the two big players, are, uh, are John Dempsey and... Darnell McCargo, who's only a sophomore, young guy, so he's got a lot of years ahead of him. And he's still up high in South Jersey's uh, ranking. He's there. averaging almost 19 points a game, Brett. It's almost as good as Art, points-wise at least. Almost. No, points aren't everything. He's there. He's oh, there. Yeah. He just took the shot and had a black block by, uh, by Travis Washington. He's only almost as good as Art in, in points. I don't think. And uh, you know what? I don't think he's nearly as good in I don't talent. think he's got everything else Art has. And Art's for. a great guy, too. It's hard to be as good as a person. Jack and Art, little give and go there. Travis with it now. Scott's got it. Scott to Brennan. Brennan puts it up and it's in. First two points of the game are going to go to Sterling. Looks like uh, Jack Brennan is going to be battling with uh, number 41, who we don't have a name on tonight. Uh, perhaps, perhaps he's the transfer from uh, Jason Brogsdale. From, from Paul Six. But it uh, looks like a, a lot of size there. Mm -hmm. That should be a good contest tonight. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's uh, two to two here early on. It's McCargo with the steal. A great play by Hassan Presley to strip the ball. That was Tawan Austin with the steal. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. But yeah, that was a very nice play by uh, Hassan and a nice steal by Dewan. And, and you can hear you can hear the Dewan electric Austin. the electric. Sterling crowd. They are excited tonight. It's a high to octane game. Oh. Foul's going to be on Sterling. 
think on Michael Scott. Yes, Michael Scott picked up that one. Don't want to get in foul trouble in a game like this. You can't lose your, your big your big time players, you know? Tuan Austin's at the line now. As you can see the Collingswood Panther there. See him in the background a little bit. Collingswood has brought their Panther to, to our gym. Right? He's a big part of their team. The Panther is a big part. He's, he's the Collingswood sixth man, in a way. He's just not as loud. Not nearly as loud. I, I think his head muffles. Maybe a, a little bit more carnivorous. All right. Offensive board for Collingswood. And McCardell's gonna, McCargo's going to miss that one. That was a great play by Jack there to avoid being uh, called for travel. He got that pass away as he was falling. Travis Washington's going up. He's going to get it tipped. And he's not going to make it. I'll tell you what, Brett, even though Sterling didn't score on that last possession, that's when I like them. This right here, when they're able nice to push the ball. Nice hands by Art to Mike, and Mike's going to lay it in easily. That's when Sterling's at their best, when they're able to push the ball beautiful. very fast up and down the court. You know what that is? It's beautiful communication by uh, the two seniors on this team. You're right. Good play by Collingswood. Oh, oh wow. wow. What a pass by Travis Washington. In the air. The uh, Collingswood fans are calling for a walk, but I believe the ref saw him in, in the air during the pass, and that's why they're going to say it. Nice defense by Jack, but is this game a better play. Brett, when you said high octane, you weren't kidding. My, my, are these Back guys Back and forth action. Tonight. The two fast teams, two smaller teams. Hassan for three. That was off the mark. I think that was Jason Brogsdale. It's a beautiful play. We're going to call him Jason Brogsdale. Okay. We don't have a uh, number for Brogsdale. On Slink's got to slow up. I, the Collingswood fans are probably the loudest fans I've heard in this building. That's, well, Glassboro made a lot of noise the other night, Brett. You were absent. But I was absent. They were loud. Uh, if anyone can handle this, though, it's going to be Art. That's and what wow. Art does. He makes defensemen look stupid. And, uh, he... Brett. Adds insult to injury when he scores on him. Brett, we're in for a game tonight. This is going to be good. Two very evenly matched teams, but that that looked entirely too easy right there. Well, I'm glad we're here for this one. This is a big one. Oh, a beautiful pass. Mike Scott can't get it to fall. The refs are going to let a few things go that's on good. both sides tonight. I, I think that that's But it's going to make game a fun game. Nice the defense that by much Jack. Better for it. Good defense by Jack, and I mean, uh, he brought that one Obvious down. fouls like that you need to call, but, I mean, you got to let the kids play in a game like this, and you can't you can't take over the game. Yeah, that was no travel. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful play there by Travis. Art's going to bring the ball. Right. Art's going to bring the ball up, and uh, Sterling's going to score. Scores uh, 8-11 to 11 right now with uh, 4.27 left in the first. A nice move by Jack to draw the foul. Now, now, Brett, when we said let the kids play, you know, I think another thing that they have to do, however, is be consistent with their calls. And I don't see how uh, that was a foul there. I mean, it was very consistent. Now, I mean, after, I mean, there's been a lot of contact on both ends of the floor. But as much as I like to see Sterling's players go to the to the free throw line, I think that the refs need to be consistent. Jack Brennan, 70% from the line. He averages eight points a night. He's only a sophomore, and he's 6'5". And I'll tell you what, these Collingswood fans seem to, they're just as crazy as, as the Sterling. Yes, they are. Oh, what a steal by Art. They're not getting that by him. Art's going to put it up. No foul there. Oh, and oh, they're going to call the foul. Uh, no, it was kick ball. Kick ball. Oh, it's a great job by Art to stay with that. Score still 11-8 in favor of Collingswood. Come on, ref, get in the game. As you can hear these, these Collingswood fans. They're not happy about anything, and they're getting more of the calls. Now, uh, Warren Croxton won't be joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But Julian Unger will be, and he'll be out patrolling the crowd for possible interview ease. He's our man in the field tonight. That's right. I'm sure he'll do just a good a job as well. We have an exclusive interview. I'm not going to talk about it just yet. Oh, it's going to be a surprise, but I think that the, the viewers are going to enjoy it. Yes, I think they are. I'll come back. I'll come back. 
But you can hear Julian there communicating with Mr. K a little bit. Art bringing the ball up again. 3.34 left here, still 11 to 8. We got a driving foul going up here on the Panthers. The ref's going to call us on that. Once again, Brett, I think that you need to be consistent. Yeah, it's inconsistent, but. Uh, you know, and you either got to let them play or you got to call a tight game. And right now, I'm not, I, don't, they, I don't think they know what they want to do. Well, you know what? The speed of this game has been pretty intense. The refs are going to need some time to settle into it. Yeah, I think that maybe they're out of breath. How do you get picked to ref a, uh, a group two semifinal game? I don't know. You gotta be one of the best. Sure, that, that's part of the job. You have to be one of the best. Uh, Jack with the ball down low. He's gonna put it up. You're not gonna call a foul. Score still 11 to 8. Feels like it froze. And it has been for, for quite, quite a minutes. number of minutes. Defense is really tightened nice down. Nice defensive play. And this fast-paced game has slowed down, but here it comes oh. again. And what? Oh my! God. Hassan, Hassan, Hassan has really developed into into one of the night's top offensive oh. threats. I'm sorry to cut you off, but Jack Brand just made a beautiful play, but he was stuffed up by Pierre Robinson. And John Dempsey's going to put that one away. Oh, I thought Hassan was going to take that. He's driving. Oh, wow, what a pass. I don't Mike's think I, that was a walk on Mike. But did you see that over the back, no look pass beautiful. there? I don't know if Mike was ready for it or not. How could you be? I think uh, right there, number four, Juan Austin was drawing with the referee a little bit. I don't think the referee liked it very much. Austin's got it now. Guarded by Sam Washington. Either way, he has. Jared Clark's also at the point. Oh, come on! You can hear these Collingswood fans getting loud. Once again, that was uh, Tawan Austin. And that time, I think he was fouled. He caught one to the face, it looked like, but uh, got the foul called. Wow, these Collingswood fans seem to be a little bit... Uh, they're intense. They want this game just as much as we do. They're, they're jawing back and forth with the sixth man. It's not working, White! Oh, wow. That was not... That's a bad call right there, Brett. Art didn't touch him. That was a... Wow. Don't like that call. That looked weak to me. And once again, that goes back to the consistent game that uh, the refs need to call. Austin's going to be at the line now. He's going to get his first. Now, uh, interesting point. Art, in uh, the first game this year against Collingswood on January 19th, he, he had 36 points, which was 56% of the offense that uh, Sterling put up. And in the second game, he had 31 points, which was 53% of the offense. So Art, uh, he's been the key. Art's going to be the key, as he is in every game, but maybe especially tonight. Something about Collingswood the, that he likes to play against. hassan has got it. He's going to get it to Art. Collingswood putting some pressure on here. Get a, they have a bit of a press uh, going. Art to Sam. Wow. It's, uh, looks like Pierre Robinson and uh, Hassan Presley jawing a little bit. They got into a little bit of a shoving contest. But once again, here's, here's another case where the referees are letting them play. Art's off the Art mark, gets but he his gets his own rebound. Goes to put it up, and he's fouled in the, in the act there. Nice play by Art. Uh, he was guarding, guarded by Kevin Miller there, but Miller couldn't stay with him after the shot. So Art will go to the line for the first time tonight. He's 80% from the field. Gonna miss the first. This is 
This is a problem Storm's been having lately, uh, free throws. It's the entire team. They've just uh, haven't done too, too great from, uh, from the line. Hasn't really hurt them too much except in the Collingswood game to this point, but tonight it could be, once again, it could be a big, big factor in the outcome of tonight's game. Beautiful shot by Art. They need that point. Now they're only down four. Wow. The cargo for three there. With a defender in his face. That's uh Jared Clark was guarding him there, and as I as I save her game, Jared, the defensive specialist. I don't think uh, many people are gonna knock a three down over with him in their face. Art's not getting the roll tonight, but uh, once he started, I'm sure he'll be all right. Miller bringing it up for Collingswood. Collins were taking their time in this last this last Playing round. for the last shot, it looks like, Brett. Dempsey's guarded tightly by Mike. Mike Scott. Ten, only Ten nine, moves. eight seconds left now. Time running down quick. Going to get in into Sam, who could get a last second shot here. They give it off to R, who better hurry. He drives in for the, ah, oh, Michael Scott there. Looking to get it in there for the last second shot. But uh, not able to get it to fall. And at the end of the first quarter, it's 17 to 11, Collins with. And uh, I throw it over to Julian Unger. So, uh, Julian, what do you got for us? Hello, folks. I'm here with Ryan, Kevin, and John, the GO team. What are your thoughts on the game so far? Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a slow start, but, you know, we're looking all right, I guess. I think we can pick it up if we just pick up the slack. Now, how, how did this bad start about? Well, I was talking to Ryan on the computer, and uh, I don't know, it just came to my mind. I was eating Cheerios. He just said, I'm going to go to the game with just go written on my shirt. And I said, go. And he just said, just go. So, we're the go team now. And we just added a new member, John McCourt. We're very proud to have him. Hello. What's your predictions? Uh, I'm going to take Sterling by five. Sterling by ten. Back to the booth. Thanks a lot, Julian. Sorry we couldn't get a picture of that one for you. That was the last basket scored there by Collingswood. That was a nice move around Mike Scott. It was. And it, once again, we uh, we need to give yeah. Julian, you know, a lot of credit there. Great interview, and I'm sure that he's going to have a lot of good stuff for us tonight. That was uh, Brian Ferry, Kevin Reynolds, and John McCourt interviewed by Julian Unger, the GO team. Interesting little team that they got going. They're neutral. Are they? That's what they claim, they're neutral. They like ties. <laughs> they like ties. Is that a hockey thing? No. They, that's basketball, actually. They like to see overtime, two overtimes if possible. That's Hassan it. with a beautiful move, and he's going to get the bucket. And one. And one, Hassan Presley. Wow, Brett. That was interesting. But uh, Hassan, like I said, he's turned into a, such an offensive threat for the Knights. He's been big in uh, all of their all of the All games. the real clutch games Hassan has showed up. Haddonfield is the most noted. Makes all of them count. Nice job, see? <coughs> uh, I'd like to note that, a sad note, uh, the Sterling girls were defeated tonight, but uh, it was such a wonderful season, and uh, you hate to see it end like that, but they really had a great season, and... Uh, I, know, I had, the, I got, I had I got, the opportunity to do a few of the games. So. Yeah, I got out to a couple of them. They're real fun to watch. A lot of fun this year. They had a good season, so uh, they should all be commended. And, Brett, you can't miss your layups. Uh, that's true. Sterling's having a little bit of trouble here, but uh, a three could tie this game right now, and a two could just bring him closer. Rogsdale was able Collins, to find. Collinswood looks very content. That's how I would describe him right now, content. Content? Content. I'm not sure why, but that's the word that's coming to my head. And uh, Oh, there. Mike Scott gets the rebound, though. Gets it back out to Art. 
with regards to looking once at the again, three. Once again, these referees are very inconsistent. It's one thing to let them play, but I mean, to call some fouls and not others. Not, not so, I just think that if that wasn't a foul, then early, the earlier foul that was called on uh, the Conjure player that sent Jack Brennan to the line, I don't see how that, that was a foul. Offensive foul there by Washington. Uh, the refs seem to like to do this. They see a man on the ground on the defensive side, and they automatically assume that uh, right. an offensive player knocked him over. And I'm not sure that was the case, but uh, perhaps not. I don't know. Oh, oh wow! They, they, gave that that one, one they gave that one back to Collins. Alston on the inbounds. Scott guarding him. Washington guarding Miller. In and out, and Jack Brennan gets the rebound. Mark's going to push it up quick to Travis. Travis Washington going in and being fouled. Nice job by Travis Washington. Go to the line for a couple of free throws here. It's a 19 to 14 game with 6:15 left here in the second. That was Darnell McCargo, one of the top scorers, also a sophomore for Collinswood. Apparently, we have the uh, the loudest group of Collinswood fans right next to us. They are. They're they're getting they're getting into it. Down five, six minutes left in the first half. We have an offensive foul of some sort coming up here on the Panthers. Uh, they're going to say it was a push off, I believe. Uh, Austin pushed off of Mike Scott. Sounds good. I think Art wants to take something into his own hands here. He's taking his time. They, they got to find their groove on offense. They need a big play, hopefully here, to uh, get them Boy, back into a this three, game. A three-pointer would do the wonder. I don't think they've... I'm not sure how many they've even attempted. Maybe one or two. Oh, that was a... That was a very nice play there by Travis Wash. He got that two to drop. I don't know how he did. He just whacked all over the place. That was that was good. Good play. Very nice passing there. I believe that's. Uh, Jason Brogsdale, new transfer from Paul VI, who made a great pass right there. Sam Washington's going to drive the lane, get tripped up. No foul called. Wow. Washington's going to foul. I don't like that call, Brad. Darnell McCarthy, and he's going to go to the line. Didn't look like he touched him on the replay there. Possibly some contact with the body. Like a little bit of scoring trouble. Actually, I think these Collingswood fans are uh, stealing some of Sterling's chances. It sounds like. It's not working, White. Score 23-16 in favor of Collingswood. Collingswood's not missing their shots tonight. That's the difference. They're not missing. They're making everything count. Sterling finds himself down by eight points. Hassan Preston's going to miss the three, but Mike Scott's going to get the rebound and put it up himself. He's going to get blocked. And almost a nice save by Collingswood, but they can't manage to keep it in, so Sterling's going to have a chance. Brett, these Collingswoods are crazy. They're loud. They're loud. They're going nuts. 
Sterling's fans are going to have to pick it up. After, here. after the rejection, that really, uh, that this, really, uh, really the excited energy, the Collingswood The crowd. energy in here is all on Collingswood's side. And, uh, it's not making right now, the Sterling, there, Sterling does not have a lot of momentum. They could really use a big, a big shot to uh, get back in this thing. It's currently a 24 to 16 game with 425 here in the second. And you can hear Sterling's crowd coming alive, looking for something big out of their team. Oh, I thought Mike, Mike should have taken that. These Collingswood fans are not even going to let him play a game. They're, uh, they're calling, trying to call. Hassan, I think, Hassan, I think Hassan twisted his ankle there. Brett, that could be big. Let's see how he handles it. If you, if you watch it here, it comes down funny on his ankle. Oh, oh man, I saw it. Yeah, he's hurting too. That is not good for Sterling. He is probably their offensive threat, and he come down right on it, and he might have to come out of the game. You can see him hobbling around there. That would, Brett, that would be big. He's one of the very, very, very important offensive players. And uh, Coach Hiltner has uh, Sam Washington getting ready to come in and take his, take his position. Wow, he's favoring it heavy. Oh, he can't get the roll. Wow. Sterling can't get anything to roll right now. That would be huge if Hassan was not able to continue playing with that right? Nice job. You get the second one by Sam. Uh, he, by Hassan, he hobbles so. out of the game. And it's going to be Sam interesting Washington to keep an eye on that. I'm sure in a, in a game of this caliber, caliber he'll get it uh, wrapped up. Yeah. Get back out there. Sam is a uh, role player for Sterling. They are missing nothing. Everything is dropping, and they have a nine-point lead. It'd be big for someone like Sam Washington to hit a three, a nice two here. Or Art. Oh, my It's going to roll right out. That one, that one was halfway down, Brett. It cannot get anything to fall. <laughs> oh, what defense by Mike Scott. Steal by Michael Scott, who's, no matter, no matter what the situation, Michael Scott is, he is just deaf to all negative comments that are thrown He's going to stay 100%. Oh, my. Art can't get it to drop, but he's going to get his own rebound. So he's going to get the ball back. You can once again see that that nothing is falling for Sterling. Here, here's that last uh, set of plays. Put that have, one back up. I believe we have a timeout coming, and we're going to throw it over to Julian Unger, who has the Collingswood Hello, Panthers. folks. I'm with the Collingswood Panthers mascot. What's your name? The Panther, man. The Panther. What are you talking about? The Panther. What, what's it like under there? Well, at times it's hot, and tonight it's hot, and other nights it's really hot. What do you think of the game so far? Well, I think we're kicking butt to be profanity-free. I do think that, you know, Sterling's got a good chance tonight, you know. I'm here cheering the Panthers on, but I do think it's a good game. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys in the booth. Thanks, Julian. That was, that was a nice one. It looked like you were almost making out with that guy there. but uh, I thought he was going to stick his head in his mouth. But Julian's <laughs> doing a great job out there. And looks like that Panther might have an uh, itching problem. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention it. I wasn't going to mention it. But uh, maybe, there's a, maybe there's a bug going around Collingswood. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but, uh, back to the game now. Sterling's going to inbound the ball again. Well, it's a 26 to 17 game with 325 left here in the second. Sterling currently trailing by nine. We'd like to welcome uh, Julian Unger back into the booth with us. Hello, guys. He, uh, he did some, some great things in the first half. Hopefully we'll get him back out in the second for a few more. Not much stoppage for the plays. Yeah. Pretty fast paced. That was how the game the other night was, too, with uh, Glassboro. Yeah. Uh, very fast-paced. All right. Um, Collings with the penalty, so Washington's going to the line. Boy, that Panther's a character, isn't he? He is. He, he is. was. He is. Washington's I think he has fleas. Yeah, you could say that. Anyway, back to the game. So 26-17 again, once again. Still. Oh. There's just a fight for the ball, and Collingswood's got a little bit of height on Sterling. There, there once again. Through. 
Now Sterling, Sterling really needs something here. I can't remember the last time they hit, they hit a field goal. It's been it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. I noticed that out, out on the on the court. Almost a backcourt violation. Mike trying to get it up. No foul Nothing. call. But once again, I think that that's being consistent. They're letting them play tonight. Another lay in by Collingswood. And that was Brogsdale. Art, Art I think, is going to take over here, guys. He's going to have to. He has to. Sterling's down 11. Plenty of time left, but. Uh, wow, a nice pick set there by Michael Scott. Art. Oh! It's in and out again. Once again. I can't believe this. What? Oh, my goodness. It's in and out again. I mean, if he was missing them, he'd be missing them. But, I mean. That's in and out. There's I'll a tell you what, this. I'm gonna say Collins with ball. I guess he didn't have the view we did to see Brogsdale kicking, kicking the ball or kicking someone. As you can see, the size of the crowd here tonight. A lot of crowd, but right now it looks like the Sterling crowd is stunned at the, the turn of events that is uh, actually actually the, going down. The fans were heckling me when I was interviewing that Panther over there. Heckling me. I couldn't believe that. Uh, the Collinswood fans? Yeah. What were they saying? They're saying, get away from my our Panther. Wow. Is that so? Yeah. They, so they had, you know what? There's some scary they're, fans. They're fans with attitudes. Well, they're fans, and uh, Panthers also have itching problems. So That's we all have problems, and we all have different ways of uh, hiding them. Or Guys, I don't, I don't, don't worry. So. I think I did. I, I boxed the, the Collinswood bus in with my vehicle. So they're not going to be able to leave. So <laughs> no matter what happens, un any unfinished business that's left on the court, oh. we'll be able. And there, once again, <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm going to say something, Mr. K. These refs are not. You know what? And see, that's that's what happens when I say something good. Say something bad, the refs get afraid of me. They make a call for us. Thank you. I'm, there's, all right, here let's, it is. Let me, let me see. This. Body, we did, we body, did, hands, we did, everything. We did get a foul here called, and Sam Washington is going to the line. This was an Collins offensive was, foul. That's right. Collingswood is arguing. Of course they are. To they're no, uh, they're crybabies. To no avail. They're, they're a much more emotional Brett, team. Brett, that was a bit out of character. Sorry. They're a much emotional team than Sterling is. Our sixth man has quiet down a lot. They are, and, uh, Hassan, very, very good news. Hassan has checked back into the game. I thought Sam was getting some foul shots. He doesn't. It's okay. Oh, a bad steal pass. by Miller for Collingswood. Collingswood's just having a great game. Uh, third out rebound is strong. I mean, if they You know what, that. guys? Uh, a big a key tonight. At, I, I don't think I mentioned it in the sh in the pregame show, but I, but I said it to you, Brett. Collingswood looks like they have a lot more size. Sterling They're does. showing it, too. And that's shown in the rebound ca rebounding category. Sterling's going to need uh, a few more points, hopefully get their fans back into it for the start. Hassan for three. Jack with the rebound. Oh, my goodness. That can't get enough key to roll. Right you got to get that. Nothing. Nothing doing for Sterling. I can't remember the last time they got a bucket. And this is just terrible. It's in and out, in and out. Guys, it's only 40. 13 and 40 seconds left. Here in the second in the second quarter, and this is just—I'm speechless right now, guys. Oh, I thought Mike DeShields was going to take that. That's a specialty. It's three-pointer. 25 seconds left in the second. Bard's going to bring it in, hitting the hand, but no call. And wow, guys. Offensive foul. Great play by Mike DeShields. Draw, draw drew, the offensive foul. Drew the foul. Very nice play. Ten seconds. A chance for Sterling to get within 10 or 11. They, you know what? And I think that would be huge for their confidence. Right now, they haven't scored in a long time. Have, have they scored in the second quarter? It seems like they haven't scored in forever. It's been a while. Forever. It's been a while. Oh, an open look for Jack, and yes, he lays it, it in. And they get two to end the half. We'll play by Art 30 Jack. to 19, and perhaps that's going to be a bit of a, of a that morale was booster. That was big for Sterling. They're only down 11 now. Uh, Collingswood is in the lead right now. 
30 to 19 against Sterling. Uh, it's been a pretty lopsided game so far. Sterling's been having some trouble, and Collingswood hasn't. Uh, Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit more about how Collingswood's doing tonight? Well, Collingswood, they've just been pushing the ball very effectively. And, uh, you know, it seems like every time they go up the court, their dropouts, uh, they have a lot of size, and, you know, they out they outsize they outsize Sterling by a lot, and uh, they're out rebounding them. And I think that that's that's been a huge factor in, in uh, the the halftime result. And uh, you know, I'm hoping that Sterling can come back, but uh, right now they're down by 11, and they can't get a shot to fall. You said something about the uh, the push, yeah. Collingswood's transition's been pretty intense. Uh, now, uh, Julian, you want to go over to you? Tell me a little bit more about how what Sterling can do to pick up their uh, game. <laughs> Sterling just needs to pick it up defensively, make a couple more shots, but this first half they've just been outplayed. There's no other way to put it. They've just been outplayed. Collins, we got the slot, the size, the transition game, and I honestly don't know. I like to see Art Ellis step it up a little more, some of the big guys, but I, I am speechless. All right, guys, well, there you go. We're all speechless here. Uh, Sterling's down 13 right now at the uh, end of the first half. And uh, we'll see at the start of the second. Uh, got, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, Sterling High School where we are in the semifinals of the Group 2 playoffs. And number three, Collingswood, is currently beating number two, Sterling, 30-19. to 19. Uh, It was a very difficult first half for the Knights. They could not get any shots to fall. And uh, we're hoping that they can turn... We're hoping that they made a lot of a lot of good halftime adjustments, and they're gonna they're gonna you know they're gonna come back and win this game. Uh, think, Brett? It's only it's only 11 points. It's uh, easily doable. Plenty of time. If anyone can do it, Sterling can do it. So uh, with, with the with the amount of outside shooters that they have, they can definitely do it. And they have 16 minutes to do it, and I think that's plenty of time. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Then. Kevin Miller with the ball, guarded by Travis Washington. I'm wondering if uh, that one's going to drop for Brogsdale. Washington's going for the long pass to Hassan. Hassan's driving in, giving it to Jack. Jack's going to have to push it back out to Hassan. Hassan for two, can't get the long one to go. Once again, Stone cannot get their shots to fall. Offensive foul. The charge is going to be called. Uh, that that's something Sterling's going to have to do because uh, Collingswood's been driving the lane great, and uh, Sterling can keep getting those charges. Keep taking the charges, get some points. Yeah. Well, get get some possessions anyway. Yeah. Hassan was looking at the three. He'll go for two, and it'll be foul. Hassan's going to go to the line now. It's like, hey, let's get some of their guys in foul trouble. That that would that's an actually creative idea. And that was Brogsdale, so. He's a key part of the team, but he only has two fouls, bro. But uh, he's been Collins huge with two, two very quick fouls here. Hassan misses the first. They, they cannot get free throws or field goals to go down tonight. A lot of three throws. Free throws. Oh. Another one in and out. Sterling's not making anything count. It's a tough game to watch. It's, it's difficult because we know that they can they're they're capable of playing above the level that they are tonight and they just it's not even the, I don't think they're playing at a low level it, it's they just cannot get their shots to fall and everything's falling for Collinswood it's like they got a 15 point lead now it's stolen by Miller he's going to get the easy lane and I think we're going to have an early timeout here called and uh, we're going to go over to Julian Unger with Mr. Domenico. Julian. I'm with Mr. Domenico. What are your thoughts on the game? What are your thoughts on the game so far? No, no problem. You're more than welcome. Well, I just don't think we're shooting particularly well. Usually we shoot much better than this, but uh, it's still pretty early in the game, and I think Silver Knights are top. You know, only the best wear silver and blue. What are your thoughts on the girls' season? Well, it was a very, very interesting season. I enjoyed it very much. I think we have uh, some of the finest girls basketball players ever. It's a great tradition. I think they ran into a tough night tonight. Um, 
they didn't shoot particularly well again. The referee, very, very tough. I hate to be critical of that kind of aspect of the game, but it was uh, really the case. Uh, the refereeing was just not very good. Let the game get out of control, and it just was one of those things. If this is the boys' last game, are you excited future? Well, I think you got a great future here coming back at Sterling. I think you got a lot of young sophomores that are very good. Jack looks real good. Uh, Washington, both of them. You know, you got you got good players here. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for everything you guys have done this year. It's been really great. Thank you. Back to guys in the booth. Thanks. Thanks, Julian. Mr. Julian. Nico. Julian's and doing a great job. He today. is, and it seems as though Sterling not dropping their shots is a common theme tonight. They had a trouble in the girls game and now the boys are having trouble and I want to touch on one thing Julian asked if this is, is indeed the night's last game I don't think it's going to be guys I'm feeling a comeback but it's going to take a while it's a 20 point game and another timeout for uh, for Sterling as they are down by oh my goodness 19 points And you know what? That's just uncalled for. It's unsportsmanlike by the Panther to uh, do that. It's a tough game. You know what? Uh, yeah. Sterling's not out of it yet, but it's not going to be easy to bring this one I'm, back. I'm speechless, guys. I, you know, 19-point game. It just seems like Sterling can't get anything going. And there's still a lot of time left, and if they're going to do it, they still have time. They, they still have 14 minutes and 20 seconds. And, you know, it's time right now to put their rally caps on. And, and Golden Stewart's in my way. I can't see. He's gone. Let's Art, see here. Art, I think Art is going to be the There it is for it three. Up. This could turn it around. Yes! And I think that's going to be the spark they needed. 38-22, first basket of the second half, two minutes in. And I think, I think this is going to be big for, for Sterling. Uh, that was huge by Art. The, uh, the game looks a lot closer when you put three points on the board there. So, um, uh, we got a defensive foul coming up here on one of the nights. It's not a bad foul to take by Jack. Uh, trying to play tight D. they got to do something to slow down this defensive, this wanna, offensive rush. We want to welcome back. Oh, uh, here's Art's three. Very nice shot. Beautiful. We want to welcome back Julian Unger to the booth, who's done a very nice uh, uh, interviewing work tonight. Julian, there's no, there's no one who really wants an interview tonight. Everyone's kind of ticked off by the Knights' play. That's tonight. understandable. Yeah, I'm sure that Panther would want more airtime, but we're not going to give it to him. No. Well, that's because Michael we don't with the steal. And, oh, that's uh -oh, big guys. by Mike Scott. And Sterling's on a 5-0 run right now. Guys, I think I'm going to stay here for uh, good luck, you know. Oh, oh what a steal. steal. Wow, and here Mike's we go, Mike's going to hang on to it. This is what Sterling's we're Sterling's got to get back into this now. This oh, is we, oh, a beautiful to drive by Washington. Uh, as you were saying earlier, we don't want to give the Panther more airtime. Not even that. We don't want Julian to catch anything. I mean, geez. Yeah, that's right. He's got to be right, careful. Right. But thanks for looking after me. I've been waiting no to pull problem. that one out for five and minutes, but Sterling's been playing so great. Collingswood is now forced to take a timeout as, once again, there's that Panther who's dancing or something. And we got some cheerleading action going on, too. And there you can see us in the background. I remember him from the football season. As do you, Chris? Uh, no, I don't, you actually. Don't? That was a tough night. I try not to think about it too much. Uh, we lost our last game. And I, you know, I can, here's, this is the last defensive series for the Knights. I, I could only, if, 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 you know, the inevitable does happen and Sterling does lose tonight, I can only feel for guys like Mike Scott and, uh, and Art Ellis who, who would have lost both of their final in their varsity sports to the same team, and that is the Collingswood Panthers. Well, I'll tell you what. I think if anyone's going to pick it up tonight, it's going to be Art and Mike because they know that this is their chance. The Panther just punched the Knight in the face. Guys, to enjoy guys I might have to leave the booth. I'm, I'm getting ticked off. I was by just that thinking guy. that. What do you what do you think? Bender, I wouldn't be upset if you punched the Panther because he punched the knight. Guys, what do you think I uh give him another interview and you know just tear him bop up? Him, bop I say him. you tear him up yeah. a little bit. Do it, do it, do it. I think that we should do it. I'm thinking I think about you should it. interview him. Don't don't get too harsh. Say ask tear him ask him ask him why he's so itchy. Ask him about the itchiness. Ask him about ask him about why his team cries constantly. And ask him 
how much they pay these officials, even though they're leaning <laughs> toward the Knights right now, I think, <laughs> in terms of the calls. Just, just for kicks. But That's a big point for Travis Washington. That's another uh, thing, free throws this game. 13-point 13, 13 game right Five minutes left here in the third. They yeah. cut down a huge lead it was, right it there was about that quickly 20. in less than a minute. So uh, let's, see, let's see if they can cut down a little more. I think Collinswood sat back a little bit too much. And uh, Sterling is not going to sit back. Getting hot. We're getting hot a little bit here, guys. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a comeback. I they're told hit, you guys that. They're hitting their shots. Things well. are rolling for them in the past minute. 12 and point game now. Great defense being played. And it's going to belong to the Knights. No, no foul. Miller, uh, he fell out of bounds and he wants the call, but he's not going to get it. Uh, that no, that's not. He fell out. That's nothing on Sterling. That's a beautiful play. Yeah, that was that was no foul call there. Hassan on the inbound here. Let's see what Sterling can do. Art's going to bring it up. They can bring it to within ten here, guys. That would be huge with four minutes left in the third, possibly within nine. Too. Now you can hear those Sterling fans getting loud. Hassan, Hassan, this is interesting. Hassan is now running the offense. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I thought Travis. I think I thought Travis. Travis is going to put it back out to Art for three. Yes! Oh my goodness! It's a nine-point game, guys. Sterling is back in this game, folks. And all of a sudden, the Collingswood crowd has been quieted, even though they still have a nine-point lead. And back to 11, but still, Sterling went on a. Uh, uh, they went a on a nice, a nice tear, a 9-0 run. Guys, I'm so excited. How about, how about you, Brett? How, how excited are you? I'm pretty excited. Pretty excited. I'm not, I'm not too excited just yet. Okay. Oh, Art's, Art's been hot from outside, guys. I thought he should have taken that. Hassan's going to drive the lane. Oh, he walked, I thought, possibly. Oh, they're going to call the foul on Collingswood. Foul called on Collingswood. We'll take it. We'll take it. If, you, got, if you guys watch this, Hassan, Hassan walked there. That was possibly a bad call. But perhaps maybe the travel was caused by it's that possible. foul. You know? Very difficult job. Dempsey's going to Dempsey's gonna take a breather. This is an, a big chance for Sterling to play some tight D here, slow up the offensive surge, and uh, hopefully make their baskets count. As, as I was on the court side, man, the security is really, really tight here tonight. Is it? Yeah. The, uh, has to be. the state. The yeah. state runs this, and they uh, they want their money. Jack's getting back to Art. A little under four minutes left in the third quarter. Sterling down 11. Plenty of time. Looking into, into Jack. Jack kind of just aimlessly threw that one, but Hassan with the steal, he drives. He can't get it to roll, he gets his own rebound. Out. Going for the shot. And a lot more fouls being called here in the second half. Is that, that gives Collingswood already five team fouls here with still 325 left in the third. It's not bad for Sterling if they're missing their shots, getting the rebounds and getting fouled. It stops the clock. And it also gives them a you chance know, push to push the line. Push the line and they get three points. But it'd be a lot easier, you know, if they made their shots the first well. time. Yeah. This is a good point, yeah. Mike Scott at the line. Five, Perhaps make it the first one. three times. On the Last quarter, it was 12 to 5. But you can hear that uh, heckling fan, that Collinger fan, who seems to be a little bit unhappy with the uh, referee. One. Still an 11 point game. Guys, he might have a point. I talked about uh, referee right, consistency. Is he still going? All right, we I get it. We get it, buddy. I, you know, I talked about the referee consistency, and I'm a big fan of ref. I, they've been a little inconsistent tonight, but for the most part, they've let the kids play. We're gonna say Collingswood stepped out of bounds there. Wow. And Sterling's gonna get the ball back again, and a chance for even ten, more points. It's only a 10-point game. 324 here in the third, guys. Can and I'm you getting believe excited. this? Can you believe this? I do. I, you know eight, what? Eight I, points, if, possibly. If anybody could come back from the huge deficit, it's it's the Knights, and that's what they're showing right now. The full court press been working tonight, also. They're playing, they're playing like it's the last two minutes of this game for and the last two quarters, and it's been big. Art for three. No, no. That one was off. Oh, he, he got his rebound. Got his own rebound. Can't put it in. He gets oh, it again. Son. Ah, they can't get their laps to fall. But they're three. getting their rebounds. And we got 
A jump ball jump here. Ball and it's going to belong to Sterling. And great hustle there by the Knights. They got about three or four offensive rebounds in there over the cons with players. They still can't get their shots to drop. Yeah, but they're looking good. And they're, they're not looking they're, good, Chris. But they're getting the rebounds compared to the first half when they were unable to. I'd like to see them make some more of their shots. All, all right, would, Art's got the ball now. He's I calling think we all play. would, but I mean. Mike Scott. Ah, oh, bad pass. And, oh, he saved it. What a pass to Jack. Whether or not he meant to do it, I don't know, but it was still yeah, great. Go to the line. Because you know you wouldn't even call. I, I can't get over these upset Collings. The Collings were fans. I think they're just looking for an excuse as to why their teams lost their 20-point lead. Jack's got it now. Oh, Jack, take it. He takes it. And it's off the mark, but the rebound is for Sterling. No foul there. And then Collins was going to get the foul. Mike Scott. Mike Scott committed that one. That looked like it might have been maybe a makeup call or something. Yeah. It looked a little. Jack actually took a three, a little bit short. Jack's actually a good three-point shooter. He doesn't show it much because he never really takes them. But you know, it's not usually needed for him to. And well, I, don't, I don't think he's ever that open. There was not a. Constant. He was wide open. He had to take that. I think that would have been a good time for a timeout by Stone. Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah. Miller for three. It, it rolls out, but uh, they're going to call a foul. Another foul. Offensive. That was a foul on uh, Dave Kersey. I think the super fans are happy with this uh, 10 points. That's right. 10 points beats, 10. beats 20. Which is what it was. And that's a lot easier to come back. And we still have we're still a minute and 50 left here in the third. So you know, Sterling I think if push. Sterling had capitalized a little bit better on all the calls they had been getting, it'd be even closer. Right oh, guys, Art was wide open there for a second. If they house shots me, this would be a heck of a lot closer of a game. Hassan! Oh, that was a bit of a line drive, guys. And as you can see, you can hear it in my voice. I'm just getting excited when these shots go up. I'm not sure why, though. They really have because every really shot changes the face of this game. You know, I'm not getting excited because... I don't think it's going to go in. Like, man, I can understand, see. understand, but I don't know. I'm just, you know, I guess I'm just so used to Sterling, you know, dropping their shots that maybe I should lighten up a little bit. Oh, a nice try by Travis Washington to make the steal there. Full court pressure has been big in this game. You know, both teams have, uh, both teams have really, you know, uh, when they when they put pressure on the other, there's been a lot of turnovers created. Now, before I forget, let me mention that this is the uh, the last basketball game that Channel 19 will be covering, and this year, I want to say that Mr. K has done a great job. Oh, he he doesn't get enough. He doesn't enough. Uh, he gets credit. no credit, and he deserves so much credit. You know what uh, he does. He does, and he gets... What a know, great guy. He is, he is. He's revolutionized. He's almost a better guy than Warren Croxton. Almost. You know what? And Warren's a tough guy Warren's to be better up there. than. So, like, uh, Mr. K, what a guy. Like, it's like Reno Dominico, Warren Croxton, Mr. K. And, and, they are, and they are tight. Also. That's the Sterling hierarchy right there. Mr. Mr. Far also is a great guy. Well, no, I'd say Far. Far's a little bit below. A little, a little below K. Yeah. You know, we'll Mr. Give K the upper hand. You know, I think it's because Mr. Farr is our teacher. We're a little bit critical yeah, of him sometimes. That's a good point. You know, Mr. He heckles, K's not the one giving he heckles us, the us down in room 201. Heckle, he heckles me, actually. That's right, he does. You know. Julian's giving me a bit of a break in that class. <laughs> Mr. Farr is on him more than me. So. Actually, you can see if you can see him heckle us on a nightlife. That show will be airing sooner or later. Yeah. We're getting it together now. It's going to be going to be good. Travis, Travis for three. Washington for three. Oh. A little bit short, Mike with the rebound. Oh, what a play by Mike oh, Scott. Guys. And he misses his layup. That's Layups have hard to watch. killed the Knights. Oh, That's my tough. goodness. 30 seconds left in the quarter. Down 11, Sterling. You know, once I, I described the Panthers as content in the first half. Right now it looks like they might be a little bit maybe nervous. I think they're going for the... Last shot I, don't, I don't think yeah. I do too. Uh, they shouldn't rush that shot. Like if they have an opening, like Rogsdale just did, they should take it. But he can't get it to fall for once. And four seconds. And let's see. Art's going to try to get a half court shot off. And oh! Yes! 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 oh my 
right and he brings him to nine at the end of the eight, quarter. Eight points. It's eight. Eight. I'm oh sorry. My goodness. I don't know math. They're going nuts. They erupted at the at this the replay. That shot. And guys, that has to be a momentum killer. Just look at this. Oh, what a play. play. Oh my lord. Guys, what do you think? Can you say ESPN play of the year? Let's say let guys, me tell you if, something. If the Knights come back and win this game, I will say play of the year. Let me tell you something, guys. That is going on ESPN if Sterling wins this game. Oh my goodness. This was amazing. This South Jersey player of the year. Oh right my there. goodness, what a shot. I got goosebumps, man. Oh my Feel god. Him. Feel him. Wow, you do. <laughs> And I, every, I think everybody in this place is excited. I am really excited. If you think you're excited, you should feel my nipples. Woohoo! Here comes some cheering. We got some back backflips, and this has to be motivational for them. You know, that would motivate me. Those backflips are intense. That was that was a beautiful job. An eight-point game. I can't believe it. And the super fans are now. Uh, now I'd like to know who's in the middle of that. Hopefully it's not Warren. <laughs> Warren's not here. Tonight. Warren is not in the audience. But I mean, geez, can you imagine if Warren had been here and he had been in there, guys? He wouldn't be coming out. And we'd lose one of Actually, the Actually, if he was here, he'd be doing courtside. So I know, and he'd probably be up with the six yeah, man. He would get trampled. You yeah. know, guys, isn't it funny that uh, Sterling has had trouble making a basket from a foot away? A foot away, literally. And Art, Art takes a shot from, nearly half court. from further than NBA range. I mean, almost half court. Almost half court. And he Ouch. swooshes it. Nothing but net on Guys, that. it's absolutely electrifying in here right now. Oh, I thought Sam had the steal. Jack gets a rebound, and he hangs on to it. Out, and they're going to call it. And they, that was a great play by Jack, drawing the foul there Took on Jason for. Brogsdale. And it uh, looks like we have one and one coming up here for uh, the Knights. Is that 17 fouls? And Brogsdale, or Grogsdale, whatever his name is, Brogsdale. They have, he has three fouls. And we got an upset Collingswood fan. The it's same one. <laughs> That's right. He's pretty upset. Guys, it's a seven point game. Now, if this is the. This team's last game. I mean, are you guys excited for the future? Like, oh yeah, Domenico. Hassan is? gets the rebound, puts it Possibly up. Possibly no foul. It, no foul. See, guys, I think right there you need to you need to throw it out front. Oh, it's stolen, and Sam puts it in. And what a play six, by Sam Wash. It's a six-point game, and guys, I'm excited. You haven't heard me yell like this all year. It belongs to the Knights. This that, is. That was a questionable call, guys, and I'm, oh my this goodness. This is intense. There's the replay. Look at this play by Sam Washington. This man, this is what I've told you guys, time in and time out. This man is a role player, and this is what he does. Key situations, he makes things happen. Guys, I am, oh my goodness, you have no idea how excited I am. Let me tell you something, Chris. What do you want to tell me, Brett? I go and be more happy to be here sharing this can, excitement with you guys. You know what? I wouldn't rather I wouldn't share it with anybody else. Ah, oh, Sam was open. Hassan, Hassan. Oh. oh! I wanted to see him through the three there. But he's oh. gonna take the two. They still can't get their shots to fall. They're tickling it. And Jack couldn't come down with it. Collinswood pushing it. Nice play by Collinswood to put that one in. Slow down the Sterling fans point. a little bit. You can see Sterling. Oh, I should have taken that three. Here. That would have put, if he had made that, it would have put them within three. And he's wide open on the other side of the court. Or he was, anyway. Another missed opportunity by Sterling. Oh, here. and they give it up. It's stolen. Oh. And he kicks it out of bounds. And it'll belong to the Knights. That was a lucky break for Sterling yes, there. Was. An eight-point game, guys. Eight points. We're still in it. And we're, and, and we're getting hot. Let's see what we can. Let's see what the Sterling offense can put together here, guys. The Collingswood coach sure is getting excited here. He is oh, so is Mr. Hiltner. Mr. Hiltner's going crazy intense. too. intense. Almost looked like a double team there on Art. Looks like they got a, a player kind of spying on him. Eight-point game here. Travis takes it. 
Can't get it to fall, and that's going to belong to Sterling. Sterling. Definitely belong to Sterling. That definitely went off the Mike Scott checks in for the game. Michael coming back in for Travis Washington. Mike is going to bring some energy here. Fresh legs off the bench, and I think all shucks is going to have a big game. He's going to have a big last six minutes. Oh, God. I think Hassan should take those shots, guys. It's open. Hassan, that, it shot, that shot works, too. Back to a six-point game here. And this defensive series is going to be big for the Knights. If they could bring it within this is four or three. I think it's, it's so intense in this building. That was a great. It's a rebound. Great rebound by Jack. Guys, I have to say, Jack hasn't been too loud on the offensive side, but his rebound oh, Art, is good at the the floor. Sam's going to go to the line on this one. Let me let me go back to what I was saying. Jack Rose. This, hang on a so second, guys. This Sterling crowd's out of control. They were on their and feet. And the Collingswood is quiet. They seem to have been quieted by this amazing performance on basketball team. I'm surprised team. because they're... Go ahead, Brad. I'm sorry. Well, I just let, me, let me continue with you. Their team is looking still looking good. In yeah. shape. Collingswood is still in shape here. And their fans have given up on him. On the other hand, Sterling, their fans are getting them back into the game. We're all guilty of it. I'll give them a little bit of credit. Sterling is keeping themselves in this game. They're playing amazing in the fourth quarter. Eight to three. That's how many you call. Sam's going to miss the first foul shot. You got it wedged up in there. It's, you don't see that. Oh. Collins with fans still upset with the foul, foul, foul penalties, or the penalties, the fouls in the game. There we go. So currently eight, eight fouls for Collins. Well, Collins had the lead. They Sterling. have to be a little bit more. And Sam can't get his foul shots to fall on either. Or almost makes it. Collins with ball that was out on Sam. Sam Washington, <laughs> tough defensive player. 5.25 left in the fourth quarter here. Calling some fans yelling at that. One of the call there. I think there's gonna be a foul on Sterling. I guess that not I guess there was a foul on a foul on Art. Maybe, uh, maybe there's an invisible player out there for Sterling that the refs can see. We can. Uh, they called it on Art. I didn't see it. But not an invisible player. They better inbounded here. What's they were in danger of the five-second rule there. And, oh, a nice nice shot by Cargo. Still five minutes left. Only an eight-point game. Jack, Jack, oh, look at Jack open. Brennan. Beautiful, too. And it's a six-point game again, guys. That was a tic-tac-toe play by Sterling. And Very nice. Great they can ball. keep that up on the offensive end, and all they'd have to do is pick up their defense. And a bad pass, and it's going to belong to the Knights, guys. With a miscue by Collingswood. Jack Brennan's going to inbound it. Look at the tic-tac-toe work there. Oh, that was cute. And Jack with the finish. All right, Art's bringing the ball up now. And Art's getting... Art's getting on his team now. He wants this game, I think, you know, more than Art, anyone. You know he is a competitor to save the lose. He deserves this game more than Hassan Hassan for three. three. Yes! And that's a three-point game! Oh, my goodness! I cannot believe that this is a three-point game, folks. Wow! This is completely madness in this house right now. Oh, my! And college with the timeout, guys! This is madness! Oh, my god. Utter goodness. madness in here. Oh I can't my. hear myself do I anything. One, in the first half, I was speechless because the Knights were getting blown out. In the second half, I'm speechless because I'm so excited at the comeback that they're making. Three-point game, four minutes to play, guys, and it's coming down to the wire. NBA range for Hassan wow. Presley. What? And Stay, tuned for the, Stay tuned for the post-game report. The Sterling does pull this out. Look at the six man. Oh, that's they are so excited. Crazy. Well, you got the six man, and then you got the rest of the fans who don't seem like they're quite as excited. I think they'll get them. And oh, look at how excited those Collingswood fans are, guys. That's, that's a Ster that's Sterling. <laughs> oh, that's Sterling. Yes, that was Sterling. Can we get a shot of the Collingswood fans? Oh, that's, that, oh, that's, that's the grown-up. That's the grown-up side. Can we get a shot of the Collingswood fans? I'd like to see how excited they look. 
Oh, that was, oh man. That's once, that's, no, yeah, that's still starting. Well, I'm sure we'll get a picture of them later. 4.07 left, three point game. Wow, guys. I'm, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I, I got. I, I've got the chills. I'd like to apologize right and they're now. They're multiplying. We don't. I mean, I guess you can see everything that's going on. Panthers with the ball. They inbound it. And let's see if the, the Knights' defense can come up with another key stop. That was a reach in. I saw that. Sam slamming his hands down on the floor, but I don't think that was, uh, you know, directed at the at the official more than it was, you know, yeah, it was disappointment just in his self disappointment. But I think the official realized that that's a good call. Guys, you gotta wonder after this game, like, how are the fans are gonna settle with the other fans, you know? I think it'll be all right. Security's uh, gotta be tough. That's a big three for Collins. That was that was big there. Kwan Austin hit that three, and it gives a Gives Collins with a six-point lead again. 340 left here. Still plenty of time for the Knights. But that one sure cuts them down a little bit. Mike Scott with the ball. He's gonna find a side. So he's gonna have to move a little bit faster here. That, kick, that was a kick ball! No, no call. Wow. He kicked. Did you see the ball bounce in the air like that, guys? That's a kick. That's a good foul taken by Hassan. Smart foul there. by Hassan. Hopefully it'll work in his favor. Got to be a. I think they have to be a little bit smarter with their passing. And uh, I didn't. I didn't. I missed the uh, kickball there. Hopefully we get another replay. They're going a little bit, a little bit quicker to move on offense. Maybe try to get the transition going a little bit better. I'll tell you what, guys. That this is going to be a huge foul if he can't if he can't convert these free. He doesn't. Huge. And, and Sterling controls the rebound. That's huge. Still six points. Cargo missing two from the line. That's pressure for a young sophomore. Ooh. Almost a bad pass. Sam controls. Sam Washington setting up his troops. Michael Scott. For, Mike oh, Scott for three. three. Oh. Hassan, with, Hassan the rebound. with the rebound. He drives. Drives no in the foul, lane. No foul. Stripped of the ball. That wow. was a deep three Guys, by Mike. Mike's, it was a little too deep, I think. If he would have shot that normal range, that probably would have went in. I think so. There's a kick ball. Another, Another kick, kick ball. Another kick that wasn't called. It's going to be a foul on Sterling. Collins was starting to slow this game down a little bit. I think Sterling's got to be a little bit more. I don't, what's the word I'm looking for? Outplayed. No, or they have to. They have to be a little bit faster on offense. Less they, sloppy. They're taking their time, and I'm not liking it. But it's still only a six-point game. And guys, all of a sudden, uh, what was a point of strength for the Knights and that they had uh, quite a sizable foul advantage, I guess you could say, is now it's very tight. Uh, Knights have 17 fouls compared to uh, Kongs with eight, and that could be key in, in the outcome of tonight's game. They, wow, they look, at, they look like they're about to fall asleep, guys. I don't, are they watching the same game we are? Yeah, but I think they're they're a little nervous about uh, they're, they're Sterling the fans. outcome. They're a little bit nervous about the outcome. Let's see some former students. I'm not sure their names. That was Josh Merritt. Oh, that's, that's the guy that runs power school. <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the mustache. Good call. Good call. Thank you. Chris, how are your grades? Oh, very, very good. Thank you. 3.24 GPA. I'm proud of that. 3.4? 3.24. Oh, okay. That's what everybody says. They always think that I say 3.24. I think his uh, title is Power School Technician. <laughs> That's what he gets paid. Bill Izzard. That's his name. Bill Izzard. That's an appropriate name for him. He looks like what? an Izzard. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> What's an Izzard? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> A man uh, with a beard? Uh, is that what an insert is? I don't know. Listen to these Sterling fans. They really don't want him to make these. But he got it. That's Tawan Austin. He's been big. <laughs> He's been big late here. Hitting the three. 
to slow down Sterling. Seven point game. And he got both of those. Eight point game now. To make it an eight point game. And Sterling's gonna need something big here with a little under three minutes left. And Art's gonna Art. make it happen. And a foul! Are they gonna give him the basket? Yes, yes. they will. Possible three point play coming up here, guys. This will pull the Knights to within five. 242 left. And you know what, regardless of the outcome of this game, it has been great. You can't, regardless these of the Knights season, have given us such great. a great season. And and you know what, guys, they're the going to remember. The fact that they fought back from this. They're going to be remembered for a, a long time. It's a credit to all of their character. And it's been great for the fans, really. Ooh. Collins were playing physical now. Good play by that Collingswood player. Timeout called by Collingswood there. Miller's a little upset. No one was helping him out there. Stone's still sticking to the full court press. It's only a five point there. game, possession game for Sterling. Here's our beautiful play. Oh my goodness. And one. And one. I haven't seen that Panther lately. Where, where he he disappeared into the yeah. bathroom over there. I, I watched him go in. He was this? scared, I think. I think he was scared. He didn't want to see his team lose. Actually, believe it or not, I think I saw. Uh, I think I saw Domenico follow him in there, and Domenico came out, and uh, the Panther didn't come back. I think Domenico beat him up in there. He might have beat him up. I see Domenico over there. He looks a little. Now, Reno Domenico is a, a huge fan of all Sterling sports, and uh, I'm sure he didn't want to put up something that he's Panthers. known for. Now he's a real supporter of the the Sterling Six Man. He keeps him in line, but. Uh, he lets him go so far, and I think it's great that he's he's really, you know, giving job. them a little bit of leeway, enough that they can, you know, support Need their team the way they the want team. to. And a steal! There's Mike Scott, puts it for two! Stubby again, and there's still 2.23 left in the game. Miller's going to put it up. Oh, two. my goodness. He says back right back at you. That was a nice play by Miller. Just over two minutes left. And the entire place is on their feet. At least the student section is. Oh, a steal by Collingswood. Let it go. Ooh. A steal by Art. Art gets it back. Beautiful play by Art. He's going to take it himself here. You know he wants this one. Oh, oh my God. How did that go in, guys? He is amazing. He is not even a man. He is a machine. He is a machine. A basketball scoring machine. A wizard. He's a basketball wizard. A minute 30 left in this three. Oh, he, steal right right oh, and he turns it over. A beautiful steal, but it was turned over. And now going to go to the line. But look at this play by Art Ellis. What a play. I wish I could do that. Probably guys, could have been. is there... Do you give Art your second half MVP so far? He gets my season MVP. Definitely. A lot of heart. <laughs> Minute and 30 left, guys. Three point game, 52 49. I wonder how that Bill Izzard guy's, you know, taking hey, all this. You this think is you know what? His facial expression hasn't changed. I think he's excited, though. And he's going to miss his first, but Collins is going to get it and put it in. That's big. Back to a five-point game. Sterling's still got plenty of time here, but they got to make a big defense. Score a few points, make a big defensive stop. Got some uh, defensive substitutions coming in. Or some... Not defensive, but some substitutions here. Yeah, they haven't had fresh legs in a while. Uh, I don't think any new Knights are in. All starters are in now. Collinsworth fans making noise. Hassan for three! Oh, way off the well ball. short. Oh, my. You, you don't have to... Minute left, guys. Under a minute now. And Mike Scott foul. had the foul. He had the foul. It's a five-point game here. Two possessions for Sterling. Sterling called timeout. I might have to take a timeout, guys.
winner of this game will go to the, the final at Washington Township, March 6th, where they will play none uh, other than the Haddonfield Bulldogs, most likely. I don't. I think that game can be played tonight. I'll tell you what. If Haddonfield loses that game, I'll give you a hundred dollars. I'm gonna hold you to that. All right. Now, if they lose it to Sterling, I'll give you five hundred dollars. I'm holding you to that. <laughs> well, guys, we gotta hope Sterling pulls off a miracle here and gets gets these five points. And uh, you know what I'm gonna say? That was big for uh, Collingswood off that and, uh, foul and shot. And guys, and this tight down security, as you said, is <laughs> really yes. It, there's security guards everywhere. That foul shot. Collins was able to get the offensive rebound. It was a weird bounce, and uh, that was big. And because if Sterling could have converted on that one. Now we're... Our view is being... Uh, Obstructed a little bit by a nice police officer, but that's... It's okay. He's got to calm down. Safety, that's safety why, first, That's guys. why they give us a monitor. That's why they gave us the monitor. Safety first, guys. We don't want it to get out of control. I think our, our lives may be in jeopardy, actually. Guys, I'm glad we're behind this table. I'm fearing for my life. And we got these chairs. If anything happens, guys. It's a six-point game now for Collingswood and the league. And we've got each other, and that's all that we need. Today was the uh, start of uh, spring training for baseball also. We look forward to their season. Miller missed the second. Sterling got the rebound. Still a six-point game, guys. Two possessions. Just don't rush him. Travis! Travis. Gets foul to go to the line for two. Like 50 seconds left. This is big for Travis. Six point game. If he can make these two, it's still going to be a two possession game, but an easier two possession game for the Knights. And it looks like we have a timeout coming up here. One of the, I'm not sure who called the timeout. But I believe it was Collingswood. Possibly to psych out the shooter for Sterling. I believe they call that icing the kicker in uh, football. In this case, right. they're icing the shooter. Very effective technique, man. Who's going to the line? Uh, it'd be Travis Washington going to the line. Big, big shots coming up here. Come on, Five point game now. Travis is the first. 50.8, 50.8 seconds left. It's okay. I think we're gonna do it. This will be huge if he makes this. Short. Rebound Still by five point game. They're going to have to foul. Both teams without a foul to give. Ten second violation, I believe. Oh, timeout. Now, is it ten oh, yes, You were right at first, yeah. Julian. Very good call, Julian. Thank I, you. Didn't, I didn't see that one. It was a smart play by the Knights not to foul because they knew that uh, Miller didn't realize. And uh, they can make this a one possession game with a score here. They got to. They got to. Hassan's wide Hassan's open at half court. Open. They can give it to him. Not much time for Hassan. He's got to hurry up. They can't take too much time up here. Got to leave themselves enough time to get the ball back. Jack's going to lose the ball. He's going to knock it out. going to be Collins with ball. What a oh. diving attempt by Art, but it's going to be a foul. I can see that because that was a beautiful try by Art. He knows this could be his limit. Guys, really I'm, getting, I'm, I'm thinking Ty might not just be on our side tonight. Still 29 seconds left. There's Art, who's had an absolutely remarkable senior year. 
career, there's only remarkable career. That's right. You know what? And and he's a he's a two sport star. Yes. Yeah, so. uh, you know it's heartbreaking to see him come up short in both. In, right now ha he hasn't yet, but it would be heartbreaking to see him come up short in two sports. Twenty six point one seconds left. And I'm just I'm just feeling like Tom time might not be on our side tonight, guys. You're Hopefully right God is. Chris. Five point five point game, fifty five to fifty. Both team, both team, no fouls to give. Uh, you know, there's only, t once again, 26 seconds left. And, and now the Collingswood fans are just adding insult to injury. And, yes. And, you know, ta taunting the uh, Sterling fans. And, you know, it's just not, not the kind of night that anybody expected. I think a fight's gonna break out after this. I'm Dude? feeling it. I don't think so. Uh, it know, might uh, be me. You know? I'm I going see a lot of Collingswood Panther, fans man. are actually all girls. And uh, most literally, we're not we're not saying guys. that in a derogatory yes, way. Yes, we are. I see I see no 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 I see nothing but females over there. I really do. Oh, I don't I think they're gonna fight. Uh, cat fight? The mostly male, the mostly male Sterling fans. I don't think they'll fight. You know what, guys? And there's females. there's a heavy security influence here. I don't think anything's gonna happen. I hope not. I'm sure there'll be some taunting back and forth, but maybe you know what they might, they may even usher the Collingswood fans out of different exits. I mean that 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 possibility always exists, but I mean we don't need to talk about that. That's not our job. Pierre Robinson at the line now. These are big. These are big. Can we I mean, get this, it? This is the first. That, you know what? No matter what now, no matter what the outcome of this, it remains a two possession game for the Knights, which is huge. Guys, I'm, are you guys thinking maybe overtime? I that I'm feeling like it might happen. And with that rebound, they, they need to hurry, hurry up. up they gotta hurry up here. Art's got it. Art's got it, guys. We got a foul. Is that a three-point foul? Hassan's going to the line. He's gonna shoot three. Is that yeah. what it is? This could be big if Hassan. Three. Could, oh my goodness. If Hassan can make all three of these, guys, Sterling fouls now. the Collingswood player. He misses his free throws. Now here's another interesting possibility. He makes the first two and then purposely misses the third. And, you know, I don't see that happening. But I mean, it's always a possibility. It's a possibility. They, they could maybe go not for even purposely missing the third, getting the rebound off a miss. I mean, I mean he could go for the possible rare four-point play. And it looks like Collins was a little bit unhappy with the call. And we have a timeout here. We have a timeout here called by Collins. Trying to ice the shooter again. 18 seconds left. Three foul shots. Hassan's getting. This last minute has been lasting uh, a lot longer than a minute, and uh, it's understandable. Such a close game. For that that Sterling fan. That looks like Coach K, doesn't it? Well, there's Coach Coach Joe Kogan there, the uh, the man who brings up a lot of these guys, uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders from Stratford. That does look like Springs. Coach K. He's there. Did you see that? Yeah, yes. he looks just like Coach from K. He Coach looked, K. Dude. That's Coach K in like five years. <laughs> A little bit aged. A little bit too old. Oh, Miss Steppish in the crowd. I believe it's Step Ash. Step Ash. <laughs> Hassan at the line. Hassan, here it comes. This is big. It's a Can't get this ball first. Still a chance for him to get two here. He misses the second. Guys, that was the that was their chance. It's not over yet. They get this one. Miss opportunities is the theme tonight for the night. 18 seconds once again left here. Point game. Oh, he makes the third. Only oh, missed it. Now they got a foul immediately here. Sterling does. Still 18 seconds left. I'm gonna steal here. That'd be huge. Oh! Rebound by Collingswood. It's a scrum for the ball. 
Bunch Hugs on the fast come up break. with it. Not enough time here for Sterling. Oh, God. Five oh. seconds left. Oh, the fans are getting really loud and obnoxious here. And uh, some security trying to. That was interesting to say the least. It's funny, but uh, a lot of these Collingswood fans, the ones that are getting real loud, look a lot older to me. I think uh, maybe some uh, some alumni who missed their chance when they were seniors, possibly. Possibly, that's good. That's There's good. some pretty old guys. I mean, geez. They are winning, they guys. Are, and are this one. So it's just about over now. Yeah, you know what? It was it was a great game, guys. Stay tuned for the post-game show. It's heartbreaking. Guys, I don't know if I can stay for it. I'm, just, I'm emotional. Guys, uh, there's always next year. Guys, it was fun doing, you know, we. I think us, we three, we, uh, you know. Well, you can't leave out Warren Croxton. Warren, you know what? I wish Warren could be here with us. He was the missing link tonight. You know what? Maybe that was, maybe that was the problem. But he was the missing link tonight. Not, no matter what the outcome, it was a pleasure, you know, working with you guys. I like, came from the Sterling crowd. It did. Towards and guys, this is getting. This is getting you gotta remember, it's just a basketball game, yeah. guys. It's you know what. You know, anyway, as I was saying, it's been a pleasure. What we've done, I think, for Channel 19 ourselves with uh, the, the pre and post game shows and everything, it's just been you know. It's, it's been, been great. great. I wish we would have got it earlier in the season, maybe earlier in our you high school what? careers. Yeah, it's a shame that we're seniors. And but we it'll came carry up with this on. Idea so late. What a Art, shot by Art. Art with another and. Ends it, uh, what a way for Hart to end his career. That was still Collingswood fans showing that he is, he is still the best there is. Art Ellis had an amazing career here at Sterling. It's tough to see it end this way. Guys, I think people might be arrested. Beatty's in there yelling at people. But anyway, please. And welcome to post game here for Sterling. The final score is Collingswood 57. 57. Sterling, Sterling 54. 54. I'm sorry. No, um, we'd like to talk fan. about. We'd like to talk about the uh, Sterling here. They had a great season, and they have a big future here. Uh, Julian, why don't you tell us? I'm sorry, Chris. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the seniors here that are leaving? Chris, I will tell you. I mean, sorry, Brett, I will tell you. <laughs> you know, we're leaving this year. You know, we did a great job in the booth. Oh wait, you want me to talk about the basketball players? Yeah. How oh, about that? <laughs> well, Art, Art, and Mike. They're the only two seniors on the team that, you know, got a lot of time. And you can't say enough about either one of them. I was fortunate. I was fortunate to uh, play play football with uh, both of them. And, you know, Art Art is such a leader. Uh, there's nothing you can say about him. And he, he's going to have a future in some form of athletics. Uh, and, Mike, I mean, who doesn't love Mike? There's not, there's not enough you can say about them. And, you know, I just feel bad for him. They had their seasons ended twice now by Collingswood, their football season and their basketball season. And yeah, I you know what, I'm sure that they're they're probably heartbroken in that locker room. But I mean they should walk out their he he uh, heads held high. There's nothing to be ashamed of. They're both just they're both class acts. Very true words, Chris. Very true words. Thanks. Now uh, Julian on a little bit of a lighter note, why don't we talk about the future of this team? Well this this team's got a bright future in the Washington brothers and Jack Brennan and but we, we what we can take from this loss is you know you can't stress enough how much free throws and just making your easy easy shots and as you've seen here it's it's it was a poor performance by Sterling but you know I'm gonna give my game my uh, MVP to Art Ellis he made a couple big couple big uh couple big shots but you can catch I mean, this, the future of Sterling is just so it's so bright, you know, the JV, and it's just bright future for us. All right, thanks a lot, Julian. Uh, I just want to, you know, one final sign out. Thank everyone for watching. We've had a great time here doing the games. Yeah, uh, uh, I mean, I just want to thank you guys. I've had a great time doing this. It's a shame. It's a shame that Warren couldn't be here with us. It's a shame it had to end this way. It's a shame Warren Croxton you know, wasn't here. Maybe that's why we. That's why we couldn't do it. Because Warren was possible. Here. All right. A special I mean. thanks to Warren Croxton. Special thanks we to got, the whole boys team. They about, did a great job. We got it. We got to give some credit to Mr. K. A final special thanks to Mr. Mr. K. K is amazing. Get that man a raise.